Underneath them we have a slide and a climbing wall. It's beautiful, soft Charlie leather and these come in at about £7,000. Welcome aboard the brand new $45 million Superyacht King Benji. Today we are taking you on a tour of the Observation Pod, Tapanaki Bar, Wheelhouse and Fordeck. We are part of the team at Design Unlimited who created the interiors for King Benji. The underlying theme for King Benji is a tropical beachside vibe and you can begin to see that here in the Observation Pod. Yeah, so up here we are, as you can see around us, we're much higher than other boats around us which gives King Benji the edge over them. Um, despite the fact that we're up so high, we feel very private up here. We can't see people looking at us mm -hmm. and it feels very safe and enclosed. Very safe, yeah. So this is a super special space. It's full of very bright coloured fabrics, as you can see, somewhere to really enjoy having a sundowner or mm -hmm. sitting comfortably while you're at Passage. So up here in the observation pod, we've used these really bright and fun fabrics you can see here. These are from Perennials, which is an American company and they're really hard wearing, durable fabric. And we've also got this beautiful print from Osborne a Little and it really helps to elevate the area and make it really fun and playful. Also hidden away is a drinks fridge so you can help yourself to a cool refreshment. So we have just come down from the observation pod and now we are on the bridge deck. And we have this fantastic seating area with these huge sun lounges either side. So these are bespoke handmade and underneath them we have a slide and a climbing wall. Uh, so it's the side deck over this side will come down so that the side can access the water. Um, they're absolutely beautiful units and they're made from a lovely outdoor fabric which is really hard wearing. And we've got these beautiful perennials fabrics on the scatter cushions out here to really bring the colour theme down. So we're still in that really tropical vibe. The chairs here in front of us are from Daydum. They've been handmade in Indonesia. They're woven using a traditional technique, but they're a man-made fibre, which are really super practical yeah. and work really well in the outdoor environment. I mean, it's a fantastic seating location. You can watch the sun go down. Chilled out vibes up here. It's really it's quite gorgeous. special. And then behind us here, we have some solar panelled lanterns. The great thing about this is you can move them around the boat. So they charge throughout the day, and then they create this beautiful soft lighting which really helps create the atmosphere up here on the Tapanaki Bar. So welcome to the Tapanaki Bar aboard King Benji. As you can see, this is a super unique space and mm. this is where the chef has his own personal Tapanaki grill. So you can make this really immersive cooking experience and everyone can watch what he's up to and it really gets the guests involved with what's going on. Yeah, it's a really immersive experience up there. It's quite special. Um, the guests are surrounding the area on some beautiful kettle furniture. Again, these are outdoor bar stalls. So for this kind of environment, super practical. You can come from the plunge pool straight in, sit out. So behind the bar here, we have a fridge, a freezer and a dishwasher. So everything that a chef might need while, while cooking is underway. So important to note on King Benji is that the owner, Josh, does not like seeing TVs mm -mm. anywhere. So this TV, when it's not in use, will actually pop back and then the panel raises up above it to make this really cool, like, knurled wood effect behind the chef. We just wanted to point out a few of the key materials used in this area. Turkey is renowned for its marble, mm. and this marble has been specifically chosen for this area. It's really set beautifully, and the tones all work with the rustic wood that we have going on in this space. We'd like to point out the headliner because this is really special and quite unusual to boats in general, yeah. I'd say, and it really creates that beachy vibe. So it's individual bamboo pieces that have been set into the headliner and it's just an incredible texture and just brings the whole space alive. So up here in Tepanyaki Bar, we have these fantastic lights, which are by Urban Electric, and they have quite a grungy kind of feel to them. They're quite industrial, which mm. is quite cool. It gives the space a bit of an edge and it sits in really well with the stainless steel detail we've got going mm. on. And as well, we've obviously got this big hood up here, which everywhere on the boat, the dressing has been sourced from all over international companies. Mm -hmm. We also have fantastic dressing. So we work really closely with one of our suppliers in the UK to bring together specific looks for the area. So this is all set up for an Asian cuisine evening. And we have, for example, these wonderful cutlery holders and beautiful glassware and everything up here. Okay, so we're now in the wheelhouse of King Benji. Um, so as you can see, you've really reached the top of the trees up here. Um, it's quite deep and dark. We're looking at nighttime kind of vibe. Um, so actually there is a technical element behind that. So the design of the wheelhouse needs to be quite dark. 
um, because when using the boat at night, you don't want reflections in your vision so the captain can see all around him. But yeah, this is actually a very sociable bridge. So in some boats, you might find that this area is completely closed off to guests. Um, so here we've got these two big leather seats where you can sit comfortably and get a great view of what's going on and actually interact with passage planning and what the captain's up to, um, which is really interesting. Okay, so one of the biggest design features in this wheelhouse is the textured wood. This is actually a Japanese technique where the, the timber is flamed. Um, it's, it's basically burnt back and then a wire brush is used to bring up the green and then it's been treated and dyed to really create this beautiful colour palette. It's almost like completely multi-coloured isn't it? Yeah. You have like these pinks and oranges coming through yeah. it so it's really really special. This is like a real oak floor which has been stained and then it's been brushed so it's got like a slide texture to it yeah. which does run throughout the decks here so it makes the design feel really cohesive even though this space is probably one of the most distinctive um, it's very different feeling because it's so dark. Yeah. So we have this uh, Italian woven wall panelling. It's um, actually like wrapped leather, which has been bound. So incredible textures, creating this really moody space. So if we look up to the ceiling, we've got this dark navy blue, like silk fabric, which is panelled, and then we've got a black chrome insert behind it. So it makes the space feel really luxurious and elegant, and it kind of adds that kind of starry night kind of vibe. Um, as really dramatic. Well. Yeah, yeah, very dramatic. Okay, so we have got a Besanzoni Italian leather chair here, which is the hand seat of King Benji. It's beautiful, soft Italian leather, and these come in at about £7,000. Um, very tech techy. Uh, as you can see, it kind of raises and raises and lowers. And we've got a beautiful steering wheel here with the King Benji logo embroidered, which has been done by hand. Something every captain needs is a great workspace. So we've got two desks either side with this chair is from Vitra, it's an Italian company, again beautiful soft leather and great workspace. Okay, so this is the wheelhouse day head. So you can access this straight from the teppanyaki bar if you're out there chilling, or you can come in through the wheelhouse like I just have. So in here, we have a very dark and moody scheme. We've got these beautiful urban electric lights on the wall, which are very industrial, kind of eclectic feel, and they're from an American brand. We have a gorgeous textured timber on the bulkhead here, and this runs all the way through. And we actually had this in some of the other bathrooms, which helps tie them together. We have a gorgeous handcrafted mirror here, which has a nice hump rope running around it and adds another layer of texture with this beautiful dawn bright faucet. And we have a glass design sink, which is made in Italy. And as you can see, it's got this super cool textured silver leaf. We also have a wonderful vanity unit here with a lovely, beautiful marble top and inside a drawer for storing all the bits and bobs. So we are in front of the wheelhouse. This is an incredible space. Greg Marshall's team have done an amazing job to really maximize this area. We have a sofa facing forwards and this has been achieved by cutting into the brow of the boat. So here we also have a table which lowers. We actually designed this based on a normal table pedestal but we've made it a bit different. So usually on a boat you would see the standard stainless steel but this has actually got a really nice textured wood detail. So when it lowers down, it just looks like a small coffee table. And we also have a sofa pad which goes on it to make this a more of a lounging seating area. And um, again, we've got beautiful Beautiful fabrics here by Perennials and Osborne and & Little and they really help to tie the outdoor theme together so throughout the decks all the outdoor fabrics and cushions sit really well together and because you can obviously see them from wherever you are in the boat. We also have a beautiful marble top on this table. As you can imagine this space is very popular when underway because of the safe seating area and the fantastic views. Hi, this is Josh, the owner of Yacht King Benji. Thanks so much for watching the video. Spent the last five years with Design Unlimited building this yacht and I'm overjoyed with the results. I think it's phenomenal. If you have any design work for your new yacht or for your residential project, do not hesitate to contact Design Unlimited. They rock. Sarah at designunlimited.net. See you guys in the next video.